mediating a conflict is really conflict resolution. I don't think the photographs do that work. I think they give people an exposure to be reflective. Um, they, in the sense they mediate, uh, maybe, um, I think most effectively, reflectivity. You know, they give you the opportunity to think. Not necessarily always to act, but first to think, to then understand, to then progressively act. But not with a clear path. They're not, they're not pointing the way. They're only providing signs, you know, for us to read. <laughs> The, the importance of for photographers to frame a moment is independent of what that frame or that photograph should do, where it should live, where it should be, to what extent you can contextualize it yourself. And seeing the remnant of a body, I stopped the car and came up closer. And really what was much more shocking than that body was looking down the hillside in which there were parts of many bodies throughout the trees. I'd read that there were places like this where people were killed and bodies were dumped. I think the first thing is for a photographer themselves to contextualize an image they make and likewise a publication appropriately thinking about the readers without assaulting readers especially if someone hasn't been present at an event because that's going to be the diary of record for centuries ahead hopefully so you don't want to not create the evidence of an event but I think the question is how do you contextualize it in the best way you can the harshness of a confrontation with an image should always be um, surrounded by words that can help you approach what's happened. Uh, well, when, when you were there, you thought that some things could change and like historic changes were being made. Yeah. How do you, how do you do it to pass and notice when you're taking the picture? Yeah, no, it's a great question. I, I, you know, you'll see that I made portraits, carnival strippers also, which I didn't show. Well, I think in some ways we're more challenged as professionals, as, as more experienced storytellers, to do something different than everyone who has an iPhone can do. On some level, it's great that there are more diverse voices reporting and observing and documenting. Uh, so I think not to feel threatened, but to be more innovative about what you do. You know, the context again in which you create work. So with more um, sequences than single images, with sound or text with images, with um, you know, thinking about what a still photograph and a video sequence, how they interact, these are the, this is the language, it's a visual language that hopefully a professional has immersed themselves in. And the more, in some ways, nuanced or layered or complex they create a portrait of a place or of a people, that's what they add, rather than just a reaction. So it's not to just react, it's to, and of course observe, but to also process and create a form for the work and what you want to say. <laughs>